Dinosaurs roamed outback Queensland about a hundred million years ago. Some of the dinosaurs died when they got stuck in the bottom of muddy waterholes. Fast forward to 1999. Farmer David Elliott finds a fossilised dinosaur bone on his land in Winton. David and his family go digging for other bones and find many more than they expected. David realises that over time the bones have been working their way up through the soil but they are broken and will need putting back together. A big dig is organised and lots of interested people come to help. They use a loader, a little digger, crowbars, scrapers, screwdrivers and paintbrushes to dig up the bones. The bones are taken out with the surrounding rock and jackets of aluminium foil, wet newspaper, hessian and plaster are made to protect them. They are then transported to a specially built museum laboratory where they are stored. Museum staff and members of the public work on the 100 million year old bones with engraving pens and chisels to remove the surrounding rock. When they arrive at the museum, visitors come to watch the bones being prepared. After all the rock has been removed, paleontologists research the bones to identify them and to help put them back together again. Scientific papers are published to tell the world about the new Australian dinosaurs that no one has ever seen before. The remarkable and precious bones go on display at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum in Winton for everyone to enjoy and learn from.